Hello, this is Lino Tandros, and in this video we'll talk about uh, Azure Storage Account, but we will be accessing it using the SAS key. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be bringing in the portal again. There is my uh, Lino TV storage account that we created in a previous video. Um, even if you have one, you can use that. And the only thing I use it is a blob in the container. So I actually added two containers, my images and my videos. Each one of them have a couple. In a previous video, which you can actually find the link to it um, inside of the description, I'll show you how to use the access key. So we went to the storage account, we clicked on access keys. You can use one of these two keys, key one or key two, uh, to be able uh, to access that. Uh, and also I've used something called the Microsoft Storage Explorer and showed you how to download that. And you'll notice I have full access because when you use the keys, you have full access to everything, uh, creating, deleting, uh, updating these images and videos, however you'd like. All right. So now let's go ahead and remove this from here. So I'm going to detach this from the Explorer. Let's say yes. And now I'd like to go ahead and create a SAS key. And the SAS key is very, very nice because you don't have to give me the, the, uh, the whole access to your entire blob or your entire storage account, uh, pretty much. You can actually decide what exactly the power that you want to give me. Maybe only read only. Uh, you can delete, you cannot um, uh, upload, you can just read or list. Or, or maybe you want to give it to somebody in your company for only 30 days or maybe one week or even 24 hours. That you can do with a SAS key. So notice on the storage account itself, I can go to shared access signature, which is SAS. So you click on that and notice you can to choose also which service do you want to associate the SAS key with? Do you want it to be for all the blob containers, files, queues, tables? Let's go ahead and do it just for the blobs. Also, which uh, allow the resource types? I'm going to say for the services, container and the object inside of the container as well. But I'm not going to give you full access. You're not going to have everything. So I'm going to keep it read. We'll remove, write, delete, maybe add, create. I'm not going to use immutable storage right now or permanent delete. Um, and also notice that you can actually set when it starts and when it ends. So let's go ahead and leave it till midnight for today, for instance. So I'm going to come in here. We'll say the 13th of December. And for the clock in here, we'll make it zeros um, to make it easy enough. Uh, it's good enough for me, alrighty? Uh, so we'll make it till midnight, it could be Eastern time, whatever. You can allow it also at a specific range of IP address or even one IP address. You can force it to be on HTTPS only or you would allow HTTP as well. You can make the routing based on a basic, which is the default, or use Microsoft network routing or internet routing from the outside. Also remember, even though this is a SAS, um, which is different than the access key, still the SAS has to be based on one of your keys. So you have key one or key two, you can base that on. And remember that because some folks sometimes forget, create a SAS and later on, they actually rotate their keys or they actually regenerate the key one or the key two, that will break the SAS as well. So be, ca be careful with that. I'm gonna leave it as a key one. We'll say generate SAS and connection string. And that will give us the connection string, as you can see it here. That is a SAS token, and that is the blob storage SAS URL that I might need as well. We'll leave this open because we're going to need it later on. Let's go back in here and let's go ahead and try to get access from the outside. Think of it as a .NET application or a Java application or a Python application. This uh, Azure Storage Explorer is a great way just to test that it's going to work exactly how you expect it to work. So I'm going to do a connection in here. And we will go again to the storage account or service. But this time I'm going to use the second option, which is the shared access signature right there. We'll say next. And then it's expecting me to give it a display. We'll call it Lino TV. You can call it anything you want, of course. But it's expecting a service URL. All right, let's go back to the site. And the service URL will be the last one. So we'll click on that. We'll bring back the uh, storage explorer one more time. And I'm going to be pasting that key for the service URL right there. Excellent. We'll say next. And remember, uh, even though it's going to the Lino TV storage blob core windows.net, in the, uh, the, the query string being passed, it has all the information regarding the expiration, what you can and cannot do, and all the stuff is in the key being passed there. We'll say next. That is my information. It's read, list, tag, filter, delete version. All right. Make sure you only connect to the resources you trust. We'll say connect. And there it is. Notice there is no table, there is no queue, there is no file. It's only blobs because that's what I requested when I created my SAS. And if I open it up, you will see I have access to all of them. If I go to my images, I should see my two images. The only way we can test this now, if we, let's go ahead and upload another file and it shouldn't work because I said this is read only. So I'm going to go ahead and say upload. 
we'll say files let's go for instance in here uh, we will say selected files will open up my folder we'll go to pictures it doesn't really matter which one we click on it's not going to take it anyway there is the 4th of july we'll say upload and we should be getting an error here see failed to start transfer insufficient credentials you won't be able you would be able to list them and you will be able to read that means you cannot update them you cannot delete them you cannot create a brand new one anything like that including uh, every single one of the container all right i hope you like it and i'll see you soon in another video from lino tv thank you